Okay, let's take a look inside one of these little strange packages that I got. It was marked as a filter, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so this is the outside of the package. I can't find this uh, data sheet anywhere. PVS 1703, so I don't know what it is. It's a little can on a mounted on a little PC board. Let me flip it upside down. And so it's all um, ground on the back side, except for a little mouse bite there, and one at the top, and one here over at the side. So it's got three inputs, uh, which is a bit unusual for a filter. It should have two inputs, unless one is ground. Um, and then it's got two via holes in the, in the center here. So remember those two via holes. Um, so let me, uh, I've removed the cover on one of them, so let me, let me put this in here. All right. And let's change the focus a bit. All right. So remember I told you about the vias, right? So there's a via and there's a via. So those are ground, right? Those are tied to that ground plane underneath. So we know those are ground. And there's an input here and over there and up at the top. Um, now the interesting thing is there's this big giant blob of solder here and it's, it, I know it doesn't show on camera. That's a really big blob of solder. And so basically it says that, uh, this node right here is ground. Now there might've used to be a, something in there and they decided now nah, just short it out. And, uh, so now this is a ground. All right. And there is an active component. So there is, um, what looks like a transistor. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. I tried to test it and it's a diode in one direction, but not the other direction. So um, I don't know what that is. Uh, I really don't. Um, <laughs> so it's unusual. So I, I, I made some guesses about maybe what everything does. And um, I'll show you a schematic that I came up, but I, if this is an NPN transistor, then power comes in the top and the output has a, an inductor to the collector and then the emitter goes through here to ground. So there's a, a resistor and a capacitor to ground. And then there's an input. So on what I think is the uh, emitter, which is here, there is a voltage divider on it, so it sets up a bias on the uh, on the emitter. So that, that all looks okay. Everything looks okay. So I'm thinking, oh, it's a little am amplifier. It's a cute little amplifier. So if uh, the output is uh, is over here, then this must be the input. And so the input goes through an inductor and a, a capacitor. And, and there's this funny thing here. Okay, maybe that's a ferrite or another capacitor. Um, well, see, it goes to ground. So we know, we're in, we know that this is a big ground blob. And so this side is ground. And so it comes over, wait a minute, there's a ground here and there's a ground here. So it means that one side of this is going to ground and the other side is going to ground. So the input just seems to go to ground and uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. So I really don't know what this thing is. I really, really can't figure it out. Um, <laughs> So I actually did wire it up uh, and I decided that, uh, you know, it, it needs biasing. So I put, I put 12 volts up at the top here where I think it should be and it doesn't do anything. I thought, oh, maybe it's a noise source. No, it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> so I really don't know how to use this thing. Um, it may be that the biasing is negative voltage instead of positive voltage, but that doesn't make sense. Um, I, maybe, I mean, it's, it's, that's still a maybe. A lot of the RF stuff seems to like negative voltages. Uh, so I wouldn't put it past this thing. So if anybody has a clue, definitely let me know. Uh, it is a cute little board. It looks like FR4, uh, nothing fancy. So it's not gonna be super high frequency. It's all lumped component. Um, but it, 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 it kind of smells like it's an amplifier, um, but it's either an amplifier or an oscillator. So I thought, oh, maybe it oscillates. Um, and maybe this is a tuning pin, right? Maybe you can bias it somehow and 
move it up and down in frequency. So anyway, it still may be either a amplifier or an oscillator or a noise source, which I don't believe. So I think it's either an amplifier or an oscillator. Um, my best guess is it is a, hmm, I kind of want to say oscillator. Um, and, uh, but I just can't make it go. <laughs> I just can't make it go. Let me let me show you my proto board that I built. So I'm using my uh, uh, proto board that I designed. I think you've seen that. I, I did a video on this uh, analog proto board that I did uh, with funny shapes on it, and I did it dead bug style because there's that big ground plane on the bottom. So I built it once and decided that that was no good because the can shorted out all the leads underneath. So I took it all apart. I put a piece of Kapton tape uh, underneath the part, so now it can't short to anything. And then I connected a ground, and I connected uh, three leads uh, to those little uh, mouse bites. And uh, I figured out that this was ground because it goes to the bottom, that big copper, that big uh, ground plane on the bottom. So I put a black wire on that, and then over here were that. The top, this is upside down, but that top part goes to that inductor on the collector. It just seemed like the right place to have a voltage. And so I put a red wire there and I just can't get it to do anything. I probed on it with a oscillator, with a oscilloscope, probed on it with my spectrum analyzer. I just didn't do, do see anything that would point me to which kind of part it is. So anyway, let me know if you know. Oh, almost forgot. I got to show you the schematic that I came up with. Um, it's in my notebook here. Let's see, where's the red? Here we go. So, this is my first attempt, and then I cleaned it up. And so this is what this is what I think. Let me let me zoom in a bit here. Let me lower the camera. And there we go. That's better. Uh, ignore this. That's something else. Um, if you were uh, watching the other video, I had that 176.384 megahertz oscillator. I measured it with my power meter and it measures plus 13.66. So anyway, just wrote it down. Um, so this is the, uh, this is the circuit that I came up with that I believe. And so I'm not exactly sure what this part is, whether it's an NPN or not. So that's kind of a guesswork on mine. Uh, but this is the topology. So it looks very much like an amplifier, right? Uh, uh, inductor on the uh, on the output, uh, a, uh, a biasing uh, resistor and a and a high gain uh, capacitor. Um, th there's another capacitor here. It's not positive feedback, so it doesn't look like an uh, oscillator. Uh, there's a biasing network here to set the DC bias of the point here. Um, and then that's it. It's like there's no other things. So remember this, there's this induct, there's another input pin and there's an inductor and a capacitor to ground and then a capacitor and then uh, it might be a capacitor, it might be a ferret bead or so. Anyway, there's something else here and then it goes to ground. So this big solder blob here makes it go to ground and so this doesn't do anything. There's a ground ground. It, that just doesn't do anything. And there's an other, another interesting um, uh, capacitor in the circuit. Because of that big blob of solder, this um, uh, capacitor gets shorted out. Uh, maybe I should remove that blob of solder and see if it doesn't do anything anyway. Uh, but there's another uh, very mysterious capacitor that goes from ground to ground, so that doesn't make any sense either. Or it's just RF magic that ground's not really ground and uh, I don't, you know, who knows. Anyway, uh, that's what I, that's what I think it is.